I'm currently writing a new manuscript. I've nailed down a title and have completed about nine chapters. It's going to be epic. It is another non-fiction book and it follows the same theme as an abomination that caused desolation. However, it is a deeper examination of the beast and its correlation to the heart. It is fascinating how throughout the many centuries the beast, the devil, the serpent and Satan have all been depicted as the dragon. It is what the dragon represents that has me so intrigued. The daunting task of putting pen to paper as more revelations are decoded is both exciting and disturbing. It's exciting because for the first time the elusive beast that everyone is looking for has been in plain sight from the beginning of time. It's disturbing due to the nature of the stronghold that the beast has on our souls. Although the new book will be of non-fiction origin, it reads like something out of a science fiction novel. How many times have you heard someone say, we are living in the matrix? <laughs> Well, it is true. We are living. We live on an earth that has been created for us to enjoy, some say by a god or gods. Others say by our own ambition through the perceived simulation of a perfect world. It is what we are creating outside the physical realm that many people do not pay attention to. I write about the juxtaposition of the spiritual Jerusalem and the spiritual Babylon. I am now convinced through lots of studies, but more accurately, prayer and meditation, that mankind has been embarking on a world of spiritual destruction from the beginning of time. We are literally creating hell. Surely you won't die, the small voice in our head whispers as we seek the next dopamine hit of enjoyment. One more hit and we live another day, never realizing that we are dead inside. We struggle with doing the right thing as no one is immune to the control that the beast has over our spirit. We create the hell and it resides in the inner room of our temple, the heart. We fear hell, but rarely do we come to the conclusion that we have created this apparition due to our own desires. We have become pleasure seekers and dopamine creepers, producing a need for greed. We have become addicted to the self-overstimulation induced in our heart. If you are feeling too stimulated with all the latest pleasures, relax, there is some soma to bring you down. What is the answer to living in this world of temptations? How do we slay the dragon, the spirit of greed and gluttony? Since the beginning of time, the god of this world, the dragon spirit, has been tempting people and making people believe they can have all the riches that this world has to offer. Many characters throughout history ascended to a higher consciousness and mastered life by slaying the dragon. These characters are many, but I focus on one, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's through the teachings of Jesus Christ that I have adopted my teachings. It is not confusing, complicated, complex, or convoluted. Love your neighbor, that is everyone, as yourself. We can all be vessels for change in this world by choosing to slay the dragon spirit of greed and gluttony, by giving and understanding the people in need. When going through your days this week, make time for those in need. This is the true daily sacrifice.